education-based marketing. What are you going to learn in this lesson? You are going to learn what education-based marketing strategy is. You are going to learn the reason why it is the most effective way to attract your prospect vendor or buyer and get them to trust you. You are going to learn how an advertiser uses this strategy to generate over 3 million qualified leads in 1950s. You are going to learn how you can apply this strategy into your own marketing and you are going to get answers for some of your what if questions. So what is an education based marketing strategy? The first time I discovered you know, this concept, actually this marketing strategy, you know, is a time you know, I was really struggling and with getting people to book a poem with me. And uh, it is a time, and I remember, you know, I went to so many networking business event, and in a business networking event, I got so many business cards. And once I got so many business cards, then when I come back to office, and then I just calling them, I said, Do you, are you interested about, you know, at that time, actually, I was a website designer to help people build a website. Uh, then, but most people say, I'm not interested about it, I'm not interested about it, I'm not interested about it. And uh, by the way, at that time, the website I was building is really uh, not a traditional website at all. Uh, actually, it's a sales funnel. And so it is uh, something I believe every business needed. And so uh, then they told me they're not interested about it. Uh, then I'm just wondering why I say, because actually, definitely it's going to help them. But they told me they're not interested about it. Then I was uh, come out with, uh, okay. A problem and uh, I was looking for okay how I can get people interested about what you know what I'm selling and also how I can get appointment that's what I'm trying to do so uh, you know then actually I went to one of the sales training course in a sales training course and uh, so uh, one of the you know one of the things I've learned is how to get appointment and in the appointment you know the trainer actually talk about things called a personal MBA is a book and then I just found the book and I found out you know the marketing strategy to get people book appointment and uh, so this book has been written by you know one of the uh, I think one you know one of the business expert her his name is Josh Kaufman and he, you know, it's the number one best-selling business author as well. It's a world-class business education, a single book. And uh, by the way, if you read this book, you are going to learn more than the four or five years MBA you've done in a university. Uh, it's a really good book. And inside the book, and he talked about something called education-based selling or education-based marketing. So education-based selling is the process of making your prospect better and more informed customers. So by investing time and energy in making your uh, customers smarter and you are simultaneously build a trust and make them more interested in your offer. And remember that to do this properly, you have to know more than your customers. Otherwise, you are going to scare them away. So education-based selling, basically, uh, the, your intention is not to sell them anything. Uh, it's not to promote them anything. Your intention is to educate them, make sure they become the best, smartest buyer they can be. Make sure they know everything so they are going to make the decision by themselves. And you are not going to push them to make the decision. Then so this is a difference between education-based selling and traditional-based selling. Traditional way is that you are using whatever tactics you learn, trying to, you know, push them to make a decision. And education-based selling is you educate them, and then they are going to make the decision because they know the value you are offering. And this is more, I have to say, more soft and more elegant or more elegant way to sell and the traditional way is more pushy and I've done traditional way and I done door locking cold calling you know so I know you know that kind of approach I just found this way is gonna be the revolution of selling 
So why do you need to know this? You know, the reason why you need to know this actually, you know, apart from you know you don't want to be pushy, you don't want it to be salesy, and um, here is another most most important reason why you need to know this. And most of the customers, I will let you know, and most of the customers actually they are unaware. What do you mean they are unaware? Actually, I use real estate as example, you know. And the most of prospect vendors, you know, they are unaware uh, about the problem, you know. The problem are causing them. I give example. Uh, most of the homeowner, they believe the property is an asset. And uh, actually, I used to believe that way as well until, you know, I met one uh, person, name is Robert Kiyosaki, he told me the home is a liability. Then I totally get it, what I mean. Uh, you know, most people, so they bought a, like a dream house, and actually it cost them a lot of money to live there. They should not be living there, uh, you know. But they, you know, they believe the home is asset. Actually, the home is not an asset. They don't even know they have the problem. So your job actually needs to educate them the problem. And what's the problem? You know, the problem is going to cause them if they keep living there. And uh, by the way, I'm just giving you an example. It doesn't have to be. But there are some other way you can educate them why they need to sell the property. Then you need to educate the solution. Solution can be, you know, for sale by owners. They can sell the property by themselves uh, or they can sell the property with the aging and what is the difference. Then you need to get them to aware about your solution, your product. So why you are different from other aging? So you need to take them go to the unaware process, become problem aware, solution aware, product aware, the most aware your product or services. So once they go from here to here, and uh, you are building the trust within, you are positioning yourself as expert, you know, in terms of selling and listing the property. By the way, and I wish, you know, I found that, you know, but unfortunately, and uh, the person who, you know, discover the five level awareness, uh, is one of the world, actually it is, world highest paid copywriter in 1950 and 1960. You know, his name is Eugenie Squas. And Eugenie, so he is world highest paid copywriter. And I'm going to show you the proof. So he has made a $2 billion for his clan with the ad he wrote. And uh, so... Eugenie Squad become one of the highest paid copywriters in the 1950 and the 60. And uh, Lodial Press once paid him a commission of $54,000 for four hour work. Similarly, that's 1950. $54,000 for four hour work. And in 1950. So he must be really, really good at his job. Otherwise, you know, who is going to pay him that much money? Uh, that's back to 1950. I don't know how much money it would be right now. But in his lifetime, he made over $2 billion for his clan and with the ad he ran. So, definitely he's one of the best advertisers I have ever seen. So, why is a successful case study uh, apply education-based marketing strategy? I'm going to show you a successful case study. You know, the first time I knew an advertiser, you know, who was trying to use education-based marketing strategy to generate this, it's actually October 1948. So, in October 1948, and this this gentleman, you know, uh, you know, actually, Louis, uh, his name is Louis Ingo, by the way, and uh, Louis, and so, at that time, you know, Another time, actually, he worked for a company, uh, I just tell let you know, is a small financial firm at that time. But now it's huge. So at that time, what they are doing, they are selling their stock. They teach people, not they teach people, basically they get people to buy the stock. 
and basically I think that the firm is like a stock brokerage and uh, sell the people stock and that's how they make money and uh, by the way back in 1950 you know majority of newspaper ads actually focus on selling a customer a product or service this is one of the example you know a watching company and uh, who uh, you know they just focus on on sell the watches on newspaper they run ads and they teach you and they tell you I told you you know to buy the watch either one hundred twenty five dollars or one hundred ninety five dollars and uh, when they do this, the man who worked for the company the company told him you know you need to you know create an ad help us sell more stock uh, you know to get people to buy the stock so we can make more money and so Louis uh, initially you know he was running that kind of ads this one he found out every other his competitor is doing the ads and uh, and also he found out you know actually there are so many people and uh, who didn't know what a stock is about by the way 1950 you know uh, really there are not too many people know how to invest in stock market uh, even now I guess there are still not too many people know how to invest in stock market as well uh, but 1950 you know 1948 definitely you know majority of the population has no idea how to invest in stock market so uh, Louis he just come up with idea and uh, you know he said told him boss you know how can we you know you know can we like write a full page you know newspaper ad you know basically we I just wanted to you know explain to people you know what is a stock about so this is really it's a full page a full page news but of course it costs a lot of money as well and but Lewis was right there are a lot of people that know how to invest in stock and so he used a full page news per ad to educate people and what is this what 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 a stock and a bond is and what is this opportunity and how you can start involving it and so this is a full page news per ads and so you can see you know he said what what are the stock and why should I invest in stock and uh, so and who is the best company should I invest with you know uh, so and end you know so he said if you are interested about him and then you can uh, request a copy which is how to invest it is a, like it's a guide it's like a, it's like a hand I think it's a handbook. Uh, it's every small like handbook. Teach people. Basically, it's like a. I have to say, it's like a stock investment 101. It's every basic stuff. It's not really advanced. So for anyone who wanted to learn how to invest in stock. And so uh, people have to cut. You know, at that time, you know, there's no, you know, there's no website. So people cannot leave the contact detail on the website. In Worry about this. At that time, it's really, really challenge. You know, people have to. You know, at the end of the ad, you know, they do have a. Uh, you know, they do have a uh, like a. Uh, uh, I have to say, they do have a piece of the. You know, a paper. You know, just need, uh, put your name, email. Not don't have email by the way. Uh, they just put your name and uh, put your address. Then you can request uh, how to invest a booklet, and then they're gonna then you're gonna send a direct mail to your. Uh, to how much US so you can get that and that is how you know back in that days of course there's no internet that's how that's how you know that's how inefficiency you know uh, <laughs> that is how inefficiency it was and uh, yeah so and also you know at that time is no charge no obligation you know uh, just a phone call so if you are interested about it they're gonna give you a phone call you know so that's you know that's a strategy and uh, the news people add is about 6,040 words. That's a lot of the words. Think about this one. Most of the news people add at that time, pretty much less than 100 words, but they, they have uh, 6,040 words, 6,540 words to sell a booklet. I've, and the booklet, how to invest, guys, is free as well. And uh, so the, then this strategy, by the way, strategy is really, really succeed and has helped them you know just this strategy has helped them generate uh, you know generate about thousands and thousands of qualified leads and 
in a very short period of time. And so, the, actually, the company I don't mind tell you, the company actually is Mario Lynch. And I'm sure most of you heard about Mario Lynch. Mario Lynch, you know, is one of the world's largest wealth management firm, uh, much now. And then what they did is, uh, uh, it's all about uh, you know, if the people want to know about how to invest in stock, at that time, you know, they just uh, try to educate people. And what they did is quite uh, uh, amazing as well. I think no one was doing at that time, you know. So they uh, took all of the content uh, about how to invest stock and bond. They <laughs> they educate people use ninety minutes movie. So at that time, the movie is not a color movie; it's a black and white movie as well. And so they have a you know they have expert you know in the stock and bond business. And they get it expert, you know, to, uh, you know, to uh, you know, to explain to people how to invest in stock and bond in 90 minutes movie. It's a movie, by the way. And yeah, I think this is uh, this is pretty much this is it's kind of like they are running a webinar, by the way. And at that time, there's no internet, so they have to use a movie uh, as a way to do it. So. Uh, they just they did it in 90 minutes movie. Uh, that's what they did. Uh, but I think it's kind of like a 90 minutes webinar we have right now. Uh, yeah, people watch the webinar and people are going to buy the sense. So the 90 minutes how to invest movie is free. No obligation is free as well. Uh, it's kind of like a webinar we are running today. Yeah, so it's kind of like a webinar. I guess they are the first company to run webinar 1950. <laughs> so there's no one else was doing that. Yeah. Uh, then, you know, they this is a company, you know, becomes a, one of the largest financial service firm on Wall Street. Uh, if you just Google search Mario Ninja, you'll find out. And this is how Mario Ninja and they got started. Not got started. This actually this is how Mario Ninja they grow their business so quickly because uh, they use education based marketing strategy. So Mario Lynch has been bought by Bank of America now, and so they are not an individual company anymore, uh, but they are still one of the largest wealth management and financial service company in the world. So soon after the ad run, Mario Lynch, I'm talking about face, I'm talking about news bureau ad. You know, Mario Lynch received over five thousand requests for the offer, basically for the how to invest. The book, yeah, uh, like a hundred book, how to invest in, in stock and bond investing 101, 5,000 qualified leads. That's how powerful this strategy is. And here is a target audience response. He said, you know, God bless Mario Lynch. You know, I have been wanting to know this all my life. I own stock abroad. I never really know what I owned. Think about how powerful it is. So people actually wrote back to say, okay, the information you give me is so valuable. You actually this is someone who already started investing and who you know who who write a thank you letter back to them to say, you know, the you know, the information you give them is 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 amazing. And uh, think about it. So Mario Lynch run the same news ads you know, over the country for years and generate over three million leads. So the firm, you know, run the same ad in Yosper across the country for years, uh, basically across American. I'm not talking about across the world. If they run the same ads across the world, I'm talking about the UK, Canada, Australia, I'm sure they're going to get way more leads. But at times they're only doing it in American. So three million qualified leads. And uh, that's translate into millions of uh, prospect customers for the firm's brokers. You know, that's how they can become Mario Lynch, by the way. So another guy, you know, who's really smart as well. This guy, his name, is, he's, a, he's a father of advertising. His name is Davy Ogney. You know, Davy Ogney, and, uh, you know, he thought, uh, he saw the ads. 
So Davy Ogun actually saw that as Louis was running on the newspaper, he saw a successful. And by the way, he was in advertising business, and he was in a newspaper advertising business uh, as well. You know, then he saw it, and what he did is really smart. At that time, he was trying to uh, build an advertising agency. That's what he trying to do. So. Um, you know, at that time, you know, he was trying to build an advertising agency. Um, by the way, his advertising agency now is one of the biggest advertising agency in the world. It is still is uh, for many many years. So David Ogney actually perfect the Louis Ingalls newspaper ads. I saw it and so wow, it's brilliant. And so he modeled it. He modeled them. This is what he modeled. So David Ogney modeled Louis ad and then created a 17 years per ad to sell his own advertising agency. So at that time he's trying to grow his own uh, agency, and so he, you know, just created 17 to sell his own advertising agency services. And uh, now Ogney Miser Advertising has created 1.48 billion dollar worth of advertising in 1970s. Truly, that's a lot of money. 1.4 a billion dollar worth of advertising in 1970, and Ogni, uh, actually, they do have a company in Australia. Actually, it would be sub subsidiary company, and but they are the one of the big advertising in the world. They are New York based, but they are the one of the big advertising in the world. So, how does this apply to you? You say, okay. This can apply to uh, Mario Lynch. This has been applied to stock and a broker, applied to advertising agency. But how does this apply to you? Let me tell you a quick story when I find out how this applied to real estate agent. So it is a time, you know, I was in a property investment seminar. This is me. And the, the lady, you know, uh, sit stand next to me. Actually, she is number one Australian or number one real estate invest educator in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, her name is Jipra Boho. So I bought his program. I bought her program. Then I joined, attend the live seminar. And uh, so just in the live seminar, and uh, I attended. By the way, it's a three days live seminar. So. And so it's a lot of things I've learned, and one of the you know I think one of the key things I've learned is um, you know she was uh, you know telling people a lot of the uh, property owner to say okay uh, you should not own negative given property because negative given property means uh, you know you need to take the cash flow you need to take the money out of your pocket and pay. For the property, and uh, by the way, negative gain property can work for some of the people if if they do have really good cash flow, and most of people actually don't have really good cash flow. You know, most people only have uh, uh, one job, and the income is quite a limit. So most people don't have really good cash flow. Actually, definitely my family. Know, doesn't have a really cash flow as well, so and uh, so at that time, you know, I, I understand, you know, negative gain property is uh, the one actually hold us back, and so we should sell the negative gain property. So in a, in a, you know, in the seminar, and I met another gentleman as well, and another gentleman, you know, he actually also have a negative gain property. And so, you know, he wanted to sell his lagging property. Once he know lagging broken property is uh, holding him back. So, uh, at that time, you know, I was networking with him, and uh, I said, "Yeah, you should definitely sell." And asked him, you know, which area he live, and he told me he live in the area, actually, which is the northwest of Sydney, and actually the area he. Uh, you know, he live, which is a property he own, and uh, is a local farm area. 
one of my real estate client works. Then I just you know introduced him to the uh, you know real estate agent I know at that time. So I'm not sure whether the real estate agent has a helping sold the property or not. I have to check out. But another moment. So the gentleman I met in her, you know, live seminar in Paramount and decided to sell, you know, his property. And after being educated, his agent property is holding him back. So that's the time he started looking for a real estate agent to sell his property. And uh, so just from this uh, experience, I learned something. I learned about this gentleman. He will never, never never sell his property because he doesn't know no he didn't know his property is holding him no he has a problem but because he attend the property investment seminar and being educated you know his negative game probably is holding him back so he decide to sell so that is the time he wasn't looking for an agent. So as a real estate agent, you know, actually one real job is truly to educate people what's the problem of holding the property. Of course, and in order for you to do that, you must have the expertise and the knowledge to educate people. Definitely. So if real estate is your profession, then you just have to learn everything about real estate yeah you include a property investment otherwise you won't be able to do this so this is a big lesson I've learned at a time I have learned if the gentleman you know did not have the education he would never 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 sell his property and uh, definitely he would never look for a real estate agent and the reason why you know he has no desire to look for a real estate agent before attending deep proposal the property investment seminar is that he did not know he should have let any in game property in his portfolio based on the personal financial circumstances there are some people who can have uh, you know naked game property for sure um, if they have really good cash flow, but this gentleman he doesn't, he did not have every good cash flow at the time. So, legacy game property is not the property he should have in his portfolio. Uh, then you, for some other people who work as a buyer's agent, let's look at how this going to work for buyer's agent. Then I'm going to tell you another story, and. Uh, that helped me understand how education-based marketing strategy applied for buyer's agent as well. And some people call buyer's agent, actually, some people call them like a property investment consultant. And uh, I said, you know, I've been working in that industry for a while, so I know that. And uh, so, it is a time, you know, at a time I was interested about investing in property. So I was looking for event. And a seminar uh, to attend about property investment. So at the time, you know, I attend, uh, you know, one which is run by First National. I'm just let you know. So First National have a department which is a property investment department, help the property investor invest in property. So uh, it's a free seminar as well. And one of them I attend actually is in Parimata. So, uh, by the way, I screenshot is 2020 is because uh, I cannot find the old one anymore. I just put the new one. They are going to they have, they are going to run. So invest in property, and this is one of the, this is this is how they educate people why they need to invest in property. This is how the f- trainer, the speaker in the first national, uh you know, event, educate the audience why they need to invest in property. I use some of the statistics. So it's not about making more money to provide you, on the, it's more about making more money to provide for you and your family. It's, it, it's not your home, it's an investment. 
And think about investment property just a widget or a tool to do a job. Uh, so stop asking yourself, do I want to buy an investment property? Start asking, do I need to buy one? So they, this one is something they give us. So what is a real financial freedom? So being able to provide you for you and your family and maintain the lifestyle if you want to win your income stop and how long could last. So here, the first line should not change. Educated people, the problem, the problem is that if your income stops and uh, how long could you survive? I want you to think in, if your income stops, how long could you survive? Most people have never thought about this, by the way. And most people thought about, you know, they have super, you know, uh, most people never plan that long. Most people just think about, okay, I have income, I have money coming, I'm just, you know, but they never thought about, you know, once they lose a job, once they get a divorce, or once they, uh, you know, you know, once they retired, and most people never thought about this. So, according to the ABS, you know, all, out of the every Australian by the time they reach age 65, you know, 24 dead, and three of them are working, and one, you know, 62 of them are broke, and five of them sell resident, which is they sell their resident initial property and move into educated facility. So only one person is wealthy. Uh, no, only one, I say, couple is wealthy. Uh, that's the statistic from Australia uh, Bureau of Statistics. And the harsh truth about retirement is uh, ABS said if you earn $800 per week, you are wealthy. So, the one person, and uh, actually he only earn $800 per week. And 79%, 0.6% of 2 million worthy retiree are living on less than 333 per week. And could you live on 333 per week? Then, so they find out the pain, you know, now people feel painful right now. People say, okay, now I can see the problem. Now I can see why I need to buy investment property. So the first thing you need to do is educate in the problem they don't even know. Then they will be looking for a solution. Then you need to educate them why your solution is the best solution. Uh, so if you have a potential seller or buyer leads in your database who are not looking selling or buying, then the only way you can get them to sell or buy is to educate them the problem they don't know they have to arouse their desire to find your solution. And most of people don't know they need to sell or buy a property until you educate them the problem they will have if they don't sell or buy. What are the potential what if questions you might have regarding this marketing strategy? You may ask, what if I don't know how to create an education based marketing presentation? What if you don't know how to create an education-based marketing presentation right now? Then I'm going to show you how proving to work the formula to create an education-based marketing presentation. That is designed to help you position yourself as expert, build trust, get a referral, identify qualified prospect vendor or buyer, and then convert them into appointments. What if I don't know? or I don't have enough time to create an education-based marketing presentation. If you don't have enough time to create an education-based marketing presentation, then I will show you a software that you can use to answer 78 questions. So your PPT slide will be automatically generated. It will help you save a mass amount of time. However, if you need a, a proofread the words or image, and you need to do by yourself, by the way, what if I don't have any seller or buyer leads in my database I can educate? What if you don't have any seller or buyer leads in your database you can educate? 
then it is more important for you to have education based marketing presentation because you can use it to attract a qualified seller and buyer into your business. Most of the seller and buyer, they are, not, they are looking for information. They are not looking for a real estate agent to help them sell a property right now. If you can give the information for them for free, then you can generate qualified needs. What have you learned from this lesson? You have learned what an education-based marketing strategy is. You have learned the reason why it is the most effective way to track your prospect vendor or buyer and get them to trust you. And you also have learned how advertisers use this strategy to generate three million qualified needs in 1950. You have learned how you can apply this strategy into your marketing. You have got answers for some of your what-if questions. So action step you need to take. Watch the video training of how to create education-based marketing using perfect webinar presentation. In the next training, and I'm going to explain to you how you can create an education-based marketing presentation that will help you convert the code prospect seller or buyer into ready to sell prospect seller or buyers. So I'm going to see you in next lesson.